They told me for years there was no money in podcasting. Well, they were all wrong. What, what was it like? What was it like working with us? What was it like? Well, I know what it's like working with Chris. What was it like working with me? How was I as a coworker? Um, you were young. You were a young kid. So I was 22. At first, most kids, when they get out of college, they're either one of two things. They're either super annoying and super hungry, or they're a little laid back. You were a little laid back, and I used to always tell Nakia, we got to tell Will to just do whatever somebody asks him, even if he doesn't like it, because people look at that. I'm mm. like, people are going to continually, because Chris was always saying yes to everything. He was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 yes. Which is why people were always ask Chris, can you do this? Can you do that? Because he was always saying yes. I'm like, Will's going to miss an opportunity if... He, because people are going to be like, oh, he won't do this, so don't give it to him. And then gradually, you just started working on everything. I think it might have been around the time they wanted, or right before we started doing those stupid um, themed months or whatever that nonsense was. I, I, had, I forgot all about that. There's so many things yeah, in that job I forgot. It is because they didn't make sense. But right. thanks for bringing that back in my mind. I got to remember <laughs> themes like. This this theme is like, it's like I fintech or something. I only innovation because that's the only one I remember. Mm. Mm. Because Tamra was working so hard on it, and Day Zero in Africa about the water. That's the only thing I remember. But I do remember like you once we started getting into that. Even though like, and that was no even before then when they right before they decided they were going to cut the budgets and we weren't going to do anything ever again. That. You were doing a lot more with Hey Gordon because I think that's when like George yeah. was really yep. like in it, in it. Yeah, as we, we, we did to, that. Like, we did that shoot in the office. Where it was like a war zone with like yes, smoke, I remember smoke, that. lights. Like we we kind of broke some things and then fixed them. Right. Yes, you did. That was so much fun. Now, I, I hope like, I didn't bring George on. We can talk about that because that was so much fun. Yeah, you should be. I'm gonna hand him up when I get off the phone. Yeah, when tell him to text, text, text me. Tell him to text me. I'm like, you better go do Will show. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so yeah, then you start, but you're like I said, that was your first job out of yeah. college. Like, of course, nobody can like fault you for being a little lackadaisical at first, but you got your ass in gear quickly, and you were doing work. The commercial, you were dope with that. Like, you did a lot of work on the commercial, so it was cool. Chris was all right. Chris was my smoking buddy. Me and Chris used to gossip and giggle and. Do all that stuff mm -hmm. um, in the office. He was ridiculous. He, you know, he would say ridiculous things. And me and like, him why? together are ridiculous. I'm like, why do I know you? <laughs> we're, we're such a duo. Me and Chris are such a duo. I'm so, actually, I'm surprised you guys are still friends. Only because you seem a lot different. Like, you two seem a lot different from each other. Mm. Uh, I, I get that. I get that. Like, I was I, I it's not so much he wouldn't be friends with you. I don't see you having like a whole bunch of friends like Chris. No. I, well, no. You don't. <laughs> Although the, the closest one I can say is Jared, who is uh, my business partner. He's a CEO of Biggest Podcast Solutions. You would like Jared, Adrian. You and Jared would click very well. He's kind of, he he's from Montclair, uh, New Jersey. Family kind of comes- from Montclair is. <laughs> yeah, family kind of comes from money. Um, but- He's he's great. <laughs> you and him, you and him get along very, very well. I mean, it was fun working with you guys in the office. Like, it was jokes on jokes on jokes. I hated that everybody would just walk in there like they could. Like when Carly used to just walk in there, I'm like, Chris, I don't care who she is. First of all, you don't walk into anyone's office like that. Teach her some office etiquette. Like, mm. she knows better. I don't care who we like. And I'm like, Nikita used to get annoyed with that too. Like, just don't walk in there. You're not like. David or Neil or Karam, someone who should be walking into an office yeah. unannounced because they have something. To, she'd be like, oh my God, can I tell you something? I'm like, if you don't get out of here, and I like her. <laughs> and I like her. I used to go in her office and chit chat with her. When, oh, you know what picture I found the other day? And oh. I should send it to you. Send it to me. What's her name when she went to sleep in the office? Oh, was that? Remember she went to Carly's was that, was office that Anna? taking a nap? 
Is that Anna? And I took the picture of it, and everybody got mad because I took the picture. Like, why would they take the picture? I'm like, go, go suck a dick. I took a picture because the bitch is fucking sleeping during working hours. What are you talking about? Why did I take the picture? I mean, I really, I really don't have many negative things to say about that job. That time I spent that job, I am thankful for every minute. I would do it all again, but I, I'll never forget how many times Mike would tell me, "This is not a conventional office. Like this is not, this is not like traditional work experience. Like it's experience, but it's not like, and like, and not that it's not real experience because it was a. It, don't get me wrong, it's a real job. It's still on my resume, and I loved every second of it. But the idea of like, remember we didn't get paid. Like two payroll cycles. Please don't don't talk <laughs> two. It was like three, and one of them was my birthday weekend, and I was supposed to be getting on a flight to LA that day, like after work, and we didn't get paid. Yeah, like there there were there were these things where it was just you know bad leadership, and just like we kind of skirted the rules, but we, like, it was a tech startup. You you had to do what you had to do, and. I I don't I don't hold grudges against anyone we used to work with. I don't know about you. I can't speak for you. Uh, I mean, I don't hold grudges because I really give a fuck about nobody like that to hold yeah. a grudge. Like nobody did anything to me. Like I I don't like people regardless. So <laughs> if I didn't like you while I was at Karma, I probably still don't fucking like you. Like mm. it had nothing to do with me not being there. Like I bounced. I got the fuck out. I left. I got hired and was like, I'm leaving in two days. See you all later. Like, I, so I'm, I'm not, I don't have any animosity against anyone there. I think a bunch of people there are fucking assholes and they probably still are assholes, but there were a good group of people that I did like, like all you guys in my office, everyone in Mike's office, Lucy, Tamra, mm. the tall kid that came for like two weeks. He was like a marketing kid. I think his name was, I forgot his name. Oh, G- Gervais? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, G. The fucking, um, the lawyer chick. And oh, Stephanie. Andy, yep. Yeah, Stephanie. And Andy was okay most of the time, but other than that, who else was left? Oh, Carly. She was, Carly was a normal person. The people in the, the creative room were fairly normal too because they kind of just stayed in their room and minded their business. Yeah, they were, like, con- they were trying constantly to, creating graphics and stuff. For, like, yeah, they, they weren't trying to like, do anything crazy like so they were cool that whole section in the middle nope they can all kiss my ass and i think they all knew that's how i felt about them yeah yeah, and i don't you you, uh and 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 i honestly don't care how they felt about me and i don't have any animosity about like i don't feel bad about feeling that way a lot of them were condescending you're trying to tell people how to do production work you've never done production you all are walking around like being lazy not doing anything but like it was just a bunch of bs so yeah. And yeah. there were a bunch of little slime balls out there. Like there was one person out there who was a snake, 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 snake. But you know, I know, I know exactly who you mean. Um, <laughs> I, I tried, I tried not to have that, that chip on my shoulder. I tried, I tried to be humble where it was like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I'm asking you guys for help. And I learned, I learned a lot from Lucy. I learned a lot from Tamara. I learned a lot from you, Nikki. I even learned a lot from Chris. Um, oh, those guys too. You know who I forgot? What's your name? The crazy girl who had to yell at. Cause I'm like, if you don't stop following me, I'm going to cost you. <laughs> who that crazy bitch? The crazy eyes and she was short blonde hair. She almost got knocked out Anna. at Lucy's, um, no, no, the Hey Gordon chick. Oh, oh, um. Uh, Vanessa. Yeah. She was one day at Lucy's thing. I was like working at the, the store and I'm trying to do something at the pop-up shop. And she's like standing behind me with the stupid little smirk and following me around. I'm like, keep following me around and see what the fuck happens. Like, I'm not playing with you. I've got, I will make you hit me and I'll hit you back and call it self-defense. Like, stop playing with me, Vanessa. I'm like, Nikki, you better tell her to get, somebody get this girl away from me. And then since she got beef with Cynthia, oh, I knew she was going to be gone. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, you're about to be out. You fucking with Cynthia? I'm not even, I'm just going to stand over here. You about to be gone. And I think she was gone not long after, right? I don't know if she left, but. I I think that that whole, I feel, I really feel bad for that whole Hey Gordon crew. Cause they. That was fucked up. Cause that show was actually really funny. It was so much fun. That's the money. That's the show they probably should have put money into 
because that show probably would have gotten sold. It was because so there's much no, fun. There's still no show like that right now. Yeah. They were great. Um, I'll never, I'll never forget. I, I was, okay, I'll tell this story. Cause I, so I, I, I really want to have Karam on this podcast too, but I know he's not going to do it. Karam, if you're out there, I know you like my content, please email me back. I'd love to. Um, Karam still emails me every now and then, believe it or not. Um, oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Karam, Karam just loves me. I don't know what it is. Okay. I actually didn't have a problem with Karam. He was just quiet. Like, I never really had a problem with him. He was quiet. I didn't really have to talk to him too much unless it was something that Nakia had me doing. But other than that, he didn't really bother me too much. I remember we were doing a set. We were doing a shot for Hey Gordon. It was the one in the bat. It was one in the, in the pool. Um, like in the, 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 the above ground pool, or whatever. And we went, we filmed it at Karam's friend house, friend's house. And he was on there at, on some, there's like a long day. We didn't finish until like 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Um, and Karam just goes, where's cracking jokes? And Karam just goes, oh, well, I'm so glad I hired you. I just go, ah, oh, Karam, me too. <laughs> and that was just, that was, that was the kind of relationship me and Karam had because he like, he was a CEO of the company, but he felt like one of the boys. You know what I mean? Like he was 10. Yeah. He was I mean, all of you were 10. So of course he felt like everyone there was literally we're gonna go five to more years younger than me and Nikia. Yeah. Karam was my age now when he was running this company. He was 27 years old. Uh wild. Absolutely wild. But it is what it is. Life life goes on from karma, and it comes way to back to bite you. I'm just glad that all my jobs in production have been uh, either full-time or contract um, with benefits. 